on, baby. Fuck you. So the title of today's video is When I Joined Optic Last Year, or something like that. It's gonna be on the lines of that. But there's a little story and like little experience that I had as soon as I joined Optic. So as you guys know, I joined Optic at like 2011, you know, August 2011. That's when I started hitting clips and all that. If you guys watched that, me watch my introduction videos. And uh, there's a little bit more into this, a little bit, a bit embarrassing stuff and a little bit of stuff like that just happened afterwards. So during that summer, like a lot of the people, uh, a lot of the people like that I talked to, like in person and all that. Like, so during that summer, a lot of my real life friends, um, they knew about Optic. Like we used to watch Optic all the time. We would just like play a lot of Call of Duty. We'd have like these 1v1, uh, like sniper knives. So, like you can only use a sniper and a throwing knife. You always have to go for something cool at the end. You just have to kill someone with your throwing knife. And with that being said, oh shit, hold on. Oh, damn it. Wow, that would have been crazy. So a lot of these guys knew about optics. So when they heard I joined optic, they were they kind of They were like, oh my god, you joined optic. So that means you make money, right? And I was like, yeah, and I, back then I only made like 20 or 30 dollars like a month off of optic Which was which is fucking cool because I got to buy like pizza once a month with like money I made off of video game and then like it, it was kind of shitty because a lot of the that I had some friends um, that were acting kind of like ignorant towards this entire gaming thing like before I even joined Optic and they started like their views on it changed as soon as I joined Optic so it's like I, I kind of took that as again as an opportunity to like filter those people out it's like oh okay so you decided to change your mind as soon as I started making like 30 bucks a month or like what money was involved so now like I, I don't really like walk up to those people and just like hey remember that time like you were blah 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 and like no whenever like they ask me for stuff I just remember and I just say no to them it's just like no like you weren't you weren't completely there in the beginning. Anyway, so like my obviously, my, I, you guys remember that my mom thought Optic was a scam, and I actually had to get her to talk to like Predator and all of them, like cables and just like a bunch of people, like to convince her like it wasn't a scam. And like it was, it was odd because the I, I got to experience like people changing towards me because I like because I joined Optic, and like it was it was odd because it's so weird how people say, "Oh, you changed ever since you joined Optic." It's a lot of the times that like from my experience like it's people have changed when they, they hear about me doing these things Like they change towards me and all that. they start treating me differently And uh, that's why I don't really whenever people ask me like what I do for a living I always say like I'm self-employed and all that like I don't really tell them fully out like what I do Like I tell them I do YouTube. I just don't tell them I don't give them any numbers because in my experience I've had people change towards me as soon as I bring up numbers and you know, that's just that's just my personal experience I know a lot of people have different personal experience with that type of stuff but That's just sort of what I've experienced in the in the past. So oh my god. There's a lot of opportunities here Oh my god, go on awesome. Ah, oh, damn it. This is a crazy game. Wow So I, I my first day of school I actually wore my optic jersey and uh, I think this is like an XL or like a double XL I lost a lot of weight then but regardless I wore my optic jersey the first day there, and then a lot of people were starting to ask me about it. I was like, yeah, I joined this organization, it's kind of cool, I do this thing on YouTube now, like, it's, it's becoming more of a thing. Like, oh, like, some of them thought it was cool, some of them were just confused, some of them just get, some, some of them just didn't give a shit, which was perfectly fine by me. I remember, like, when, this was the year MW3 came out, and my first Pomod Perfectionist came out, and a lot of my friends watched it, and this is where it got kind of embarrassing, so... I don't know if I've told you guys this like like more in depth. I think I have said this before, but in my grade ten English class, my uh, my teacher, Mr. Doherty, um, a lot of my friends were like, yeah, 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 you know, they're just cracking jokes here and there, like, oh, I'm surprised you're still at school because you know the game just came out. Normally, no lifing it, you know, like all that type of stuff, just being just joking around, whatever. There's some people I didn't like, and they were saying shit. I was about to just fucking knock him in the face, you know. I'm just kidding, but. Uh, they had, they got this, they decided to ask the teacher if they could play my video on the fucking smart board in front of the entire class, and at that point, I was just like, yeah, I don't know about this, I don't know if I really like this, and the teacher just went ahead and did it anyway, I think he was having a kick at it, he was being kind of a dick back in the day, um, so everyone watched it, and then I was just in the, I was just in my, at my seat, it's just like, oh shit, this is a little odd, <laughs> And uh, they, some of the, a lot of them thought it was cool. Some of them were like confused by it. A few of them were like kind of like ignorant towards it. Just like you know, what? fuck it, whatever. And they, they, this is where they sort of changed. Like they all focused on how many views it had. And this was like when the video got like a hundred thousand views within like the first week or whatever. And that was really crazy for back then. Like this was when. Um, you know, this was like my prime when I when I was on my rise or whatever people the fuck want to call it. I don't know. Um, and they 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 more focused on the views. Like wow, like over a thousand people watch play Call of Duty. That's that's crazy. And then some of the people were like wow, those people need a life. Blah 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 blah. So I kind of experienced that, and it kind of it, it was kind of offsetting to have such mixed responses and like having your video posted in front of your like familiar classmates in front of everyone. Like that was that was very that was very different. <clears throat> and obviously, 
Um, I was still, uh, I was still a kid. Like, well, how old was I in fucking grade ten? And I remember, um, I remember when my introduction video went up on Optic. I was at work, and obviously, you guys know, I worked at a marina um, for four years, and uh, I was just working on boats and all that, like fixing them and cleaning them, like cutting grass, all that fun stuff, and just helping people. And uh, a lot of the times, whenever my videos would get uploaded, I would always be at work. So I'd always just, like, be on my BlackBerry curve. That's right. We had Blackberries back in the day. No fucking iPhones. Well, people had iPhones. It's just my mom didn't let me have an iPhone because, like, you know, could have watched too much porn and all that. There's a story behind that, too, which is actually kind of pretty fucking embarrassing. I can tell that later if you guys want. <coughs> anyway. So when my introduction went up at work, uh, my co-workers, they, I, I'd always talk about, like, this YouTube stuff. Um, and just be like, you know, like just tell them all these like crazy things that could happen with it And I would always talk about it like when we're on lunch whenever um, we're just we're both um, Fucking tag team t tag teaming a boat aka we're pumping the pumping the shit out of the boat or like we're piling wood or anything like that um, A lot of those sound pretty fucking gay nothing wrong with being gay a lot of them could be confused like if you shut your eyes And I was just talking about this Oh shit move it on anyway, so the, vi the introduction video went up and I was just constantly looking at my phone and Twitter and all that and I was just like, I was like so proud, like I think even on my Blackberry I didn't have a lot of like phone data and I watched it like four times on my phone when it, uh, when it went up on Optic and I was so proud of that video and how, so proud of like how I was an Optic and all that, like I, I literally talked about it like all day and like all week, I was like this is crazy man, I'm like this is fucking crazy, like I'm an Optic now. And uh, I would just, I would just ramble on about all these crazy things that can happen, and it's crazy how a lot of those things that I, I was like going crazy about when I was, when it was, was like three years ago, like it's all happening now, and it's all happened and so much more. It's so crazy how just things happen like that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like. If you guys really did, leave a comment. If you subscribing, I can talk about more stories like this in the future. Uh, let's try to drop 10,000 likes on this video today. If you guys want more, I'm Austin Pavage. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys later.